Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today is part two of my three-part Japan haul. Part one was beauty, makeup, clothing. Today's video, part two, is going to be all of the cute things that I got. Sanrio, Miffy, stationery, snack, all of those cute things. And then part three, tomorrow, is going to be all of the gifts that I got for friends and family. So this part especially, I feel like I'm pretty excited to share with you because I low-key went a little bit crazy over Miffy over Sanrio. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into the haul. I think we're going to just start off the haul with my favorite things maybe and that is going to be Miffy. I low-key went crazy over Miffy. I was not even checking prices. I was just chucking things in my basket, check out and paid and I left. And here is my Miffy haul. So I went to a few different stores that carry Miffy products and that was just like sprinkled around my trip. So let's dive into all of the cute Miffy things. So the first item I got is this Miffy soap dish. When I saw it, I just thought it was so cute and I instantly knew where I was going to put it. In my guest bathroom, I have this automatic foam soap dispenser that has Miffy in it. And I always use a bar soap to clean my brushes in that bathroom. So I was like, this is going to be perfect right next to my Miffy dispenser. It is very simple. It's all white, just has Miffy on the top and it says Miffy in gray. I feel like this is just a cute way to incorporate Miffy with still being quite aesthetic and I just love the dish. It's so so cute and I cannot wait to start using this and putting this in my bathroom. This one is a little random but I'm also thinking of putting this next to my Miffy soap dispenser, my Miffy bar dish and then my Miffy fake bouquet. I'm thinking of putting this in the bathroom as well. It is just fake flowers so you can choose the flowers, you can even choose the Miffy little stand here and it comes with Miffy packaging. It is so so cute. Obviously mine got a little bit crushed in my luggage but I'm gonna just repurpose this somehow and keep it in my bathroom with the Miffy bathroom theme. I'm obsessed. It is so so cute. And if my 2% male subscribers are watching and you're in Japan with your Miffy loving girlfriend, this is your sign to wake up early and get her a Miffy bouquet. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Then the next two Miffy items, I actually used this on my entire trip. So I really wanted to get a Miffy coin purse and when I saw this, I fell in love. So it's a fluffy, big Miffy face, actually quite big. It does fit notes in here as well. I still have my money inside. It is a bit big, so I feel like if your bag is a bit small, then maybe this wouldn't be the best option. But it is quite thin and it's Miffy and it's so cute. And every time I just took this out of my bag, Bag, I was just so happy. And while in Japan and maybe any other country that uses public transport as their main transportation, you always need your transport card handy. And I had it in my wallet, my card holder, and I found that just wasn't convenient because especially at the train station, you gotta be like, you gotta tap and go. You cannot just be in your bag finding your card. So I really wanted to get a card holder that I could attach to my bag and just have my transport card in. I got a Miffy one and this was really handy. So I would hook it onto my bag. It does stretch out like this as well. And then I just have my Pasmo card, which it is very cute, Sanrio. But yeah, I literally just attach this and you can just tap and go easy. I don't know how much I'll be using this here in New Zealand because I don't take public transport here. It's just a handy thing to have. And again, it is Miffy. Miffy things. I got these bang hair accessories. I feel like everybody has this, especially the white Miffy. But I got the black Miffy as well. I love collecting these little character hair clips. I think it's so cute. So yeah, I just had to pick these two up. Like, Miffy in my hair. Say no more. And then while I was in Kitty Land for the second time, I stumbled across this Miffy eyeshadow palette. The palette itself is in Miffy's hair. I could not look past that. I think it was the last one there as well, so I was like, I have to get it. I'm gonna be making a whole TikTok video on this, so you'll definitely see a video from me. But that is kind of like the shades there. Looks very neutral. Honestly, I I, I didn't care what was inside. I was just like, a Miffy head shaped eyeshadow palette 
give it to me. I also got this little Miffy, I don't know what you call this plastic thing, but you put it on wet wipes or baby wipes if it doesn't have the hard cover. So it just makes it easier for you to open. I don't know what you'll call this, a baby wipe dispenser, but of course, it was Miffy's face, so I had to get it, and because it's all white, I feel like it will suit a lot of baby wipe packaging, I don't know. But this is really big in Japan because they are really big on wet wipes, so I feel like they do have a lot of these like dispenser things in different characters. Um, you're gonna see another one coming up in my Sanrio section. When I tell you I went crazy over Miffy, this is the prime example. So I got this pencil case, yes, this is a Miffy pencil case. It's in a light mint sage with Miffy in green. I just thought the colors were so, so pretty. And I got this thinking it was a pencil case. I grabbed it, put it in my basket, checked out, I went home and I really wanted to start using it right away because I just needed a pencil case. I have so many pens. And then I open it and tell me why there was a toothbrush inside. It's a Miffy toothbrush, but I'm using this more as a pencil case and the toothbrush was just a nice surprise. But yeah, when I tell you I was not really looking, I was like, that's cute, give it to me, let's go pay. The next Miffy item makes me low-key sad because I actually got two. And I can't find the other one, so I feel like I left it in my hotel. But it is this adorable Miffy keychain. Like, how stinking adorable is this? This is actually low-key a little expensive. So tax-free, I think it's around 16 New Zealand dollars, which is really expensive for just a keychain. But I mean, the keychain is like really sturdy. It's really plush. It is high quality. It's a Miffy. When I went back to Kittyland again, I didn't see the white color anymore. So I think I took the last. But for the last Miffy item, I got this little book. There is a special name for it. I'm going to write it on the screen. But essentially in Japan, you can collect a lot of stamps at train stations, at temples. And I had every intention of doing so. I actually got a different book prior to this, but I found this on my like second to last day and I just had to get it because it's miffy and you can tell this is very you know Japan you know what I mean but it opens up like this it's like one of these books wish I got this when I went Japan a few years back when I went Osaka Kyoto and Hiroshima I feel like there would have been more stations I would have went to but a lot of the stations I went on because I was just in Tokyo it was very local stations that didn't have stamps but I did get a few stamps so I'm gonna stamp it in here it's gonna be my stamp book now moving on to the san rio section you guys know my love for san rio and i feel like maybe you might think i went a little crazy with san rio i personally feel like i controlled myself with a lot of the san rio things i was just thinking is it cute because i'm here in japan or is it actually cute and i'm gonna use it when i'm back at home is it practical i feel like with miffy i went a little bit more crazy with but san rio i was like is it cute because I'm just here in Japan? So I really controlled myself a little. So with that being said, the first Sanrio item I got are these Karomi hair clips because last year Sunny got me the My Melody ones and they had the whole selection there and I just thought I had to have Karomi. I think it's so cute and now I have both of them. I was actually considering of getting all of them but I was like, no girl, you got to gotta control yourself there let's just get karomi now you have karomi and melody and i'm talking about controlling myself but these are next two items i'm like doesn't really make sense okay but i got my melody and karomi face mask and the reason why this doesn't make sense is because we don't even wear face masks anymore, especially here in New Zealand. I wore a mask on the plane, but like, I feel like I was the only one that was wearing a mask. I also got two keychains, Melody and Karomi. I feel like that was a theme. I feel like Melody is my favorite character right now just because she's all pink pink and she's so cute as well with all her ribbons and everything. But I really like Karomi too, so I don't know. There was a theme going on, um, but yeah, I got these two at the Sanrio store in Harajuku. I did get more keychains. I got these. I actually won them at a vending machine. They were only a dollar and I just felt so happy that I actually won something on a vending machine That was my whole trip made and it's honestly so cute So I got one Melody and I got one Pom Pom Purin I might actually give this one to Harry if he wants it because Pom Pom Purin is his favorite character But it's actually so cute. The vending machines there are elite. I also got this from the Harajuku store It's a bath bomb mystery surprise and you get a stamp out of it. 
So the choices are Hello Kitty, Melody, Pom Pom Pure, and Cinnamon Roll. Like I said, I'm collecting stamps. So this is one of them, and then I'm gonna put it in my Miffy book. <laughs> so yeah, this was really cute too. I kind of wish I got more. But to round off the Sanrio section, I went to the land of Sanrio. I went to Sanrio Pearland, which is pretty much like Disneyland, but for Sanrio on a smaller scale. It was so cute, and if you are a big fan of Sanrio, I would definitely recommend going because they do have a lot of exclusive things there. So I got a few things while I was there. I actually got a Melody Baby Plush that unfortunately I had to leave behind because it would just not fit in my luggage. Like there was just no room. So I had to leave that behind but I got a few things there. The first one being is Hello Kitty's light stick. She is a celebrity, okay? She has music, she has DVDs, she's a celebrity, okay? Legit. And I feel like every idol has their light stick and this is Hello Kitty's. It has no battery in it but I just saw her light stick low key is a little bit better than some of the K-pop idols out there. Am I right? Like, the heart bow, it's so cute. And when they were doing the parade, I was just using my light stick, like. Of course, when you go to a theme park, you have to get a headband. That is just how it is. And like I said, my Melody has been my girl, so I got her headband. I actually have a lot of the Sanrio headbands, but the one I have for my Melody is a bit different, so this one is adding to my collection. It's so cute. The pink, the bow, like how could I not? And I went to Sanrio Pearland with my friend Ren, and she was Karomi. And then this one is very exclusive to Sanrio Pearland. It was at one of the gachas, and you can only get this gacha at Sanrio Pearland. And I just thought it was so cute, like this beaded necklace giving Sailor Moon vibes, and then when you open it up there is a mirror inside and it has a photo of him but you could exchange the photo out very easily. But I just thought it was so cute and anything exclusive, when you tell me it's exclusive I'm like, I have a thing with FOMO seriously but anyway the last thing that I got at Sanrio Pearland is this cutie hello kitty lunchbox. You get this at the cafeteria and it's definitely for kids but I was like I just want to take home the lunchbox. So obviously when you get it, there will be food inside, but I cleared it out and there is like a container here to section your food off. That's a really cute souvenir to take back home. Then moving along into the stationary items and also some souvenirs that I picked up for myself. I think all of these are really cute too. Let's start off with stationary first. I got this Mofu Sand notebook and I just love the strawberries on this. I thought it was so cute. Ren actually sent me a Mofu Sand notebook book in one of my packages last year and I love it. I'm using it currently as well and I thought why not get another one. I thought the strawberry was so cute. This would have to be probably my favorite. And then I got this Rilakkuma hanky. When I saw this colorway, the green, the pink, and yellow, it's very much the color scheme of my project that's coming out next year. Maybe not exactly like this, but the overall vibe. I was like, oh my gosh, I had to have it. And I love Rilakkuma as well. Like, I have two giant Rilakkuma bears. So I really do love Rilakkuma and this hanky was perfect. And I feel like when you're in Japan or any humid country, I feel like having a hanky would be useful. I should have used it when I was there because girl, I was sweating a lot. And then I got this cutest bag from a jewelry store in Shibuya 109 and I regret not getting more. So in part three, you will see another colorway that I got for my mom. And I feel like having a tote bag like this, especially in Japan, it's very necessary. You will end up using it. And what's nice about this is that, you know, it looks quite mini and it's quite cute, right? But because of the material, once you put something in, it does stretch out and it does fit a lot. So I feel like this would be a really great gift to pick up for friends and family or just for yourself when you're there because you will definitely need just a tote bag in your bag to carry all your things. I think it was about five New Zealand dollars. And of course, I had to go to Muji. We do not have a Muji here. So I browsed around and I ended up getting their 2024 planner. I believe I got one of their planners maybe last time I went and I like to plan a lot. So this was just perfect for me. I also got two of their pens as well, which is a bit different now because it's a clicky pen. Before, I think the old one was like, 
a cap. Got these two from Muji. Cannot wait to start using this for next year. The last cutie thing I got are my ears from Disney. So I went with my friend Joy and she got the matching one but in purple. I just thought it was so cute. It's very bling bling. Very rose gold. I love it. So last time I went to Disney I think I just got the original mini ears. So it's a nice like little collection thing I feel. I really like it. So this was my ear for Disney. And the last gifts I got are more like traditional souvenir type of gifts. So the first one I got is this beautiful jewelry box and I actually got this at the airport when I was leaving. And also in part three I got one for my mom just in a different color. But essentially you pull it open up like this. It twists open and then you can put jewelry, coins, anything inside honestly. I think this would actually be really great for travel. And then you twist it down and it's just this cute little mushroom. I just love, love this kind of stuff and souvenirs like this is beautiful and it really will just remind me of my trip, my solo trip to Japan. And I was talking about stamps, right? So I got this stamp here. Um, this reminds me of Gara automatically, but it says love. And I got the red ink to stamp it on. I just thought that was really cute. They had a few that had a lot of meaning to it, but I just ultimately went for this one. But the last item I got is this Furo Shiki. I just thought it was so cute. I got this cat one. So this itself was around $7. It's like a fabric material. And I got the handle to make it a mini bag. So this was about $22 a handle. But I saw in store that you could use this and the handle and make a bag out of it. So I just thought that was really special and like very unique. So I really want to try that out. I would have to look back at my footage and figure out a tutorial. But isn't that so cute? <laughs> But essentially, those were all of the cutie things that I picked up for myself while I was in Japan. The last half of this haul is going to be all the snacks that I got. Yes, this whole box is filled of snacks. One whole section of my suitcase was dedicated to snacks. For my niece and nephew, I was just thinking about them. So we're just going to go through them fairly quickly. So the first one I got, this looked like it was a limited edition to Japan. I think it's must. Muscat, muscat, um, which is I think a grape, but it's high chew. This was another great souvenir. I believe my friend Denise, I think this she raved about, or was it something different? But I remember she talked about a chocolate biscuit in a blue packaging that she loved, and I was like, I think it might have been this. Then got the Ichiran to take away. I honestly regret not actually going to Ichiran this trip. I've been before on my past trips, but I feel like I didn't really prioritize eating and I think I do that a lot when I'm alone. I got these grape jellies. This is kind of like viral on TikTok because they kind of taste like an actual grape um, but you can also freeze them as well and they would be really nice. So I got just all three flavors and I love the dried strawberry coated in chocolate from Muji. So I got the matcha one. I got the chocolate one and then I got the strawberry one because these are so good. I absolutely love these. And then also at the Pokemon store, I got these two cookie kits. I have the Sanrio version of these and I just think these are so easy and so cute to make because they actually give you the Pikachu cookie cutter and you can repurpose that and make more Pikachu cookies in the future. And they had a Piplip one as well. So I was like, I'm just going to get these two. Honestly, if I went later in my trip, I probably would not got it just because it is quite big and it did take up a lot of space in my storage, but that's okay. It's cute. I'm going to be making cookies. Love it. Then the rest is very cutesy. Um, so I got the Super Mario jelly. Also this one as well. Super Mario. Honestly, I got anything cute that my nephew would like. And I got the Snoopy one, Muscat. I think Muscat is like a popular flavor in Japan. These heart shaped candies for my friend. Again, just got it because it's in the shape of a heart. It's cute. I got these sour chubba chubs. My nephew loves sour. I also love sour too, so excited to try that out. Oh, I got this one because it said ASMR and maybe I'll do like a TikTok video on it or something. I got these cute ones because the packaging, <laughs> Rilakkuma, heart shape. Honestly, don't know what this is. I don't even remember grabbing it. Like I legit don't even know which store I got this from. 
This one I got at Sanrio Perlin. It's Sanrio High Chews. This was an obvious duh, I had to get it. Also at Sanrio Perlin as well. These are like exclusive snacks. The packaging, it's in a star. Of course I got it, but again, I regret. It's just very hard to pack away, honestly. This one I also got to the packaging. <laughs> Uh, I'm a sucker for packaging, but yeah, I got this as well. I think it's biscuits inside. I don't even remember. And the last candy I got are these Hello Kitty little candies. Again, the green, pink, and yellow. But yeah, with that being said, guys, those were all of the cute Miffy Sanrio stationery and snacks that I got while I was on my trip in Tokyo. I'm excited to finally dive into all of these things in sort of way. I just wanted to show you guys first before I touch any anything play with anything but now that i have i can finally try all of these snacks i hope you guys enjoyed part two of my three-part haul again all of the other hauls will be linked in the description i'll also leave it in the cards as well once they are out i hope you guys have been enjoying all of the content that being said that does conclude today's video guys thank you so much for watching as always i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye